Hello and welcome to this new Construct 3 demonstration where I'll show you how to create a roller painter. So here is the output of this little demonstration. I'm using a roller painter to roll out some paint on a canvas like you see here. And once everything is rolled out, you can see that it's, uh, it's telling us, okay, the wall is fully painted. So how does it work? It's actually pretty simple and ingenious. We go to the layouts and on the layout, there is a tile map. You see here the tile map. And the tile map um, has a width of four pixels and a height of four pixels. And if we go and look at the tile map, it's very hard to see, but let's try and zoom in a bit. There's an empty, uh space which the default is the default color for the tile map yeah, the default tile let's say and, and this is the painted tile and once we go over the tile map with a roller painter it changes the tile from this empty tile to the painted tile that's in essence what will happen so let's see we've got two global numbers wall height and wall width these two global numbers only take care of the fact that we need to check when the left button is released if the wall is entirely painted or not, in order to set the label you get when the wall is entirely painted. So we set that wall height and wall width uh, variables to the tile map width divided by 4 because that is the width and height of this little uh, tile map image. Um, and the, the wall height is uh, the height divided by four. Of course, to avoid um, decimal numbers, we pick the ceiling of that number. Um, so we prepare the unpainted wall by setting uh, all of the tiles um, in a certain area. So we use here, set the tile range here, tile range starting from X and Y. Uh, zero, 00 which is the top left and then the area we're going to paint is exactly the wall width and the wall height and we're painting it with tile 0 which is this one here and a normal behavior and not flipped or whatever okay so that's actually just initializing it to the empty the empty tile and the tile map and then what we will do is we have um, the roller handle um let's see here uh where is it let's see so this is the roller and the roller handle and the only thing we're going to do here is uh pin the roller to the roller handle that's it um and on every tick uh, we set the mouse cursor to none and we set the position of the roller to the mouse X and Y coordinates that makes it look like it's just a mouse cursor and uh, we're just moving along the roller and since we have uh, pinned the roller handle to the roller the roller handle is also coming along of course so then very simple we're painting the wall we're changing the tile from 0 to 1 in the roller position so what we're doing while the left mouse button is down, we again set the tile range and we start um, the X coordinate as the left bounding box, the bounding box left of the tile map. But we use this X pixel coordinate to translate it to the correct tile using position to tile X um, of the tile map. And we do the same for the Y coordinate here using position to tile Y based on the top of the bounding box of the roller. And the width is of course the width of the roller divided by four because the four is the width of the tile in the tile map. And we do the same with the height, the height of the roller divided by four and both with the ceiling of course to avoid decimal numbers. And the tile we are going to use here is tile number one, which is the painted tile. That's it. So, and finally, that's a matter of what we do when the left button is released. So we want to set the text uh, to wall fully painted, of course. And in order to do that, we will do a for loop, actually two nested for loops oh, for the X and the Y. We're starting from zero to the wall width 
L minus one and Y to the wall height minus one. So we're actually just um, looping over all of the uh, tiles in the tile map. And we have an extra condition called B. Um, we initialize it to one and we loop while B is one. But once we find a tile somewhere in the for loop that has uh, is unpainted, we set B to three. But if B never gets set to zero, that means all of the thing, all of everything is painted, and we can just check if uh, B is one. Then we set the text to wall is fully painted. So that's it. That's how it works. Um, I hope you liked it. As always, please like and subscribe. Um, and in the description, I will leave a link where you can download the free template for this one. Thank you for watching.